I, he flew me in, gave me a room right next to the Lennox Mall. I, I go to uh, to the party. It's just me, P. Diddy, and my man, Paper Chase, may rest in peace. It's just us three. And Jermaine was on the other side, and they were doing this love back and forth thing. When it comes to from you being a pimp, uh, having females and knowing what Johns are and knowing how well, how the, the extremes they'll go to get their rocks off, what was your thoughts when you seen Diddy's lawsuit with Cassie of uh, Diddy, the, the 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 things that were being brought out about Diddy, because you know he has unlimited money. And the things that they that she was saying that she was depraved to do for him. But see, that that Diddy thing fucked me up because Diddy and I did business before. Mm. I don't know, you know, remember Loom? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, Loom. So yeah, me, me, and Loom. Loom, me and Loom sold over a million dollars worth of records. Diddy called me and said, So what's up, nigga? Well, Loom had you on um on, on his album. Oh, yeah. So come on, Diddy let's called go. me like, what's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? What's up, Pippin? I said, what's up, Diddy? I'm, I'm, you know, this is Pete Diddy. Hey, Diddy, Diddy. You know, so I'm talking to him. He was like, uh, so, so who, who is your publishing company, right? You know, you know, I mean, he doing business. Yeah, he's like, trying to do the business. Yeah, he's trying to do business. He said, so what, what we got to do to make this shit official? Because I'm trying to get this album out. I said, man, I want uh, Loom to uh, come to my party. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I want him to perform. He said, say nothing else. And, and, and then Diddy did it for me. Then he called me back. You know what I'm saying? About a month or two, about a year, about a year later, it said, say, man, I'm throwing a party with Jermaine Dupri in Atlanta. I want you to come. He said, I'm going to fly you in. I'm going to get you a room. He said, and you're going to be in my VIP exclusively. I, he flew me in, got me a room right next to the Lennox Mall. I, I go to uh, to the party. It's just me, P. Diddy, and my man, Paper Chase, may rest in peace. It's just us three. And Jermaine was on the other side, and they were doing this love back and forth thing. And I never seen nothing funny like all this homosexual stuff, man. Diddy acted like a ghetto, straight up player. I ain't never seen that homosexual shit. All this shit is like that. Did he dap you up or did he hug you? Nah, he dap, He was a player, man. He's a street uh, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, talking, but a player recognizes a player. But I'm saying, man, Diddy to me, and then he got in my movie from the ghetto. He from the time that he called me to the time, you know, because I'm a street nigga. So for the time he called me to the time, I, I did not see none of that shit. I, you know, it's like, it, you know, I'm almost in disbelief because I'm like, man, I don't, I can't see Diddy being a homosexual. I can't see Diddy, you know, doing a lot of shit that he do. But you know, hey man, everybody got skeletons. So, you know, I don't know what a man do when he walk away from me. But my personal experience with Diddy was some player shit. The man called me. He didn't try to take my publishing. You know what I'm saying? They gave me a free concert. I made hundreds of thousands off that concert. Bum B was there. Oh uh, Trillville. They, they'll tell you, man. Uh, David Banner. All of them came for free, man. It was a, a big party in Milwaukee, man. And them niggas, then after the, the, the party we did, Diddy came to a, a celebrity basketball game we was doing. And he got... In my movie, Ghetto Streets and Zach Street for oh, free. On, so, shout you know, out Diddy, man. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, Daddy. that's shout my out. experience with uh, Diddy. Shout out that nigga. That's just like with 50 Cent. My experience with 50 Cent, man, 50, you know what I'm saying? Me, when I first met him, he took me on tour with him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we went to Jackson, Mississippi, uh, Master P, all them was with us. You know what I'm saying? We did the tour. Then he came, he gave me money to come to California, to come to the mansion, get in the PIMP video. Then he gave me the shoes. He signed the shoes to all my kids. And he called me. He would talk to me. He would, every time I called him, he picked up. He let me get on his, uh, his, his podcast. This is 50. You know what I'm saying? So all that bully shit nigga was talking about, I didn't see that in 50. 50 was a player. You know what I'm saying? He's a player. Like I mean, like a, a real boss player type nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's a he cold nigga.